a woman of God went to meet Babylon and said to him, Who is praying for you? He said, Well, I have prayer. Who is praying for you? Hi. For the pastor, and so yes, I've adopted you as a prayer project. And he was shocked because he had never spoken to him. Who is praying for you? And who are you praying for? Build muscles in the place of prayer stretch. This is how our discernment is sharp. Say, Apostle, I've never prayed for 30 minutes. Well, no problem. Go and get worship instrumental. Start from that 30 minutes. Then build from there. You will notice that there are decisions you have been making. It is because you are not praying. When we pray, scales fall off. You can't go through this year doing trial and error. Pray and break through in the place of prayer till you know precisely what to do and what not to do. Embrace prayer. I'm not one who likes to talk about many things, but I can tell you encounters through prayer. One time I prayed, prayed. The Muslim girl living above my home upstairs broke out from her sleep with tears in prayer. Yeah, the security men of the environment got that one night and said, I must back out. Say, why are you always praying like this? How can we not pray? If you come from places where people don't really rise, like myself, you know you have to pray. You can't copy people. Some are coming from places where they have inheritances. Ah, don't copy people. Pray through. Never you say, I struggle with prayer. You don't. It's the very hair we breathe. We stand no chance without it. You, can't, you, are not, you are not struggling. You just need somebody to hold your hand. Is that clear? You are not struggling.